This tutorial is about finding speeches and other content for your assignments. When you need to find speeches for your assignments, your first instinct may be to search Google. Then you know exactly what you want, the strategy works well. For example, if you want to read Sojourner Truth's Ain't I a Woman speech from 1851, Googling that returns content from the National Park Service, a trusted, credible government source of information. Um, the URL is https colon slash slash www.nps.gov slash article slash sojourner dash truth dot html. If you want to hear Senator Kamala Harris's speech on the anti-lynching bill amendment, you can type those words into Google and you'll find the results you need at the top. You can also search YouTube, which collects speeches like Join Boyega's June speech about Black Lives Matter and Hear It Live, but what about locating a transcript? You, as you can see, here are the uh, words from the Kamala Harris transcript on the anti-lynching bill. So John Boyega's speech, um, we're at rev.com, um, which is a website that helps freelancers transcribe, caption, and subtitle content, and they collect transcripts in their transcript library, which you can browse or search. So I searched for John Boyega, and then I found the result and scrolled down and looked. So another resource for you is C-SPAN. Um, C-SPAN is a public service created by the American Cable Television Network in 1979 to provide everyone access to the live proceedings of the U.S. House of Representatives, the U.S. Senate, and other forums where public policy is discussed, debated, and decided. So you can click on the quick guide, um, and you can also search. I searched by Kamala Harris to see what remarks, what speeches I can find. This is her remarks at an Orange County rally. You can view the video or you can go down and you can see the transcript um, divided by timing. Their quick guide is helpful because it organizes speeches into manageable categories like national press club speeches. Um, you can browse for the latest content or search for specific topics or specific people then click to watch. So we can click on coronavirus and see a content related to coronavirus, congressional hearings, uh, responses from the Trump administration. You can also look at White House and click on speeches and then we can scroll down and we can see President Trump remarks on rolling back regulations and you can view the video. You can also read the transcript, um, you know, minute for minute. Another resource that you should consider using is called American Rhetoric. This website collects and organizes speeches. It is not searchable like C-SPAN, but it's easy to browse and find what you need. Um, you can click on the speech bank and get speeches. So I clicked on um, top 100 speeches and then over on the right, it lists top 10 speeches, so I'm clicking on Lyndon Baines Johnson's uh, address, and you can see the full text of his speech to Congress. One thing to keep in mind about this database is um, how it is organized. So if you go and you click on Speech Bank, and the speeches are arranged alphabetically, but um, a through F actually has Abraham Lincoln's speeches. We normally would think that his speeches would be in the L for his last name, but they've categorized it A for Abraham. So here's his famous Gettysburg address. Um, I've got two or three more sources that I want to tell you about. Gifts of Speech is hosted by Street Sweetbriar College in Virginia. It collects women's speeches from around the world. So um, you can search and you can browse, but so we're going to browse, click A for Angelo, Maya Angelo, and uh, we wanted to look at her on the pulse of the morning speech, which she delivered at the Barack Obama presidential inauguration, and the whole text of the poem is there.
American public media's Say It Plain, Say It Loud collects a century of great African-American speeches from Booker T. Washington to Fannie Lou Hamer up to President Barack Obama. So we can scroll down and uh, see that they are categorized by the person giving the speech. If you click on Shirley Chisholm, there is a brief biography, and then here is a speech that she gave at Howard University. Another um, resource that you may want to look at as well is um, infoplease.com. There, um, they have primary sources of speeches and essays. So um, they collect primary resources in black history, women's rights, and labor speeches. So um, we'll click on labor, and then there are just a few speeches listed, but um, you can look at Mother Jones's speech to striking coal miners. And you can see that the entirety of the speech is available here for you to read and use in your assignment. So stumbling into great speeches online is easy, but deciding which one to use for your assignment may be tough. So um, if you can't find what you are looking for, be sure to follow up with the librarians at ETSU Shared Library. You can chat, call, text, email, and have a research, an individual research help appointment with a librarian. So you can select a person, select a time, select a date, hit continue, and then you need to feel, fill in the, your name, email, and other information, and click confirm appointment. Um, another thing that you can do is you can chat with us um, during our regular online service hours. You just click chat with us. Um, you can leave it blank, and then we'll be able to help you.